Our Rhinos OP by Tier Zoo. Hopefully y'all good. We're jumping into it right now. Let's get it. I would not mess with a Rhino, bro. At all. Let's get it. Yeah. Rhinoceros is one of the most formidable builds in the game. Big bot. Though they God may not damn. be the largest, fastest, or smartest builds in the current meta, they're undoubtedly top five when it comes to raw power and defense. Oh yeah. Their most iconic feature, their massive, fearsome horn, has a wide variety of uses. Bro, imagine you just bend over, like like in this hypothetical situation. Imagine you in the you in the you know, Africa, right? You in a safari. And you just happen to bend over it and a rhino just go like straight through your anus. That would be crazy, bro. That would be wild. Is both in and out of Mess around and die. This, combined with the rhino's other special abilities, make it seem like an overpowered top tier build. But rhinos have some less obvious weaknesses that might change the <laughs> equation a bit. In today's video, we'll go over all of the pros I'm and cons you, I would, to determine. I was. I'd smack a rhino, bro. So first, let's take an in-depth look nothing. at the rhinoceros' unique traits and special abilities. Starting, of course, with its horn. The rhino's horn is one of the most powerful weapons, not Damn. just in the current meta, but in the entire history of the game. While not all of the variants of the rhino build invest heavily into the horn skill tree, some rhinos, particularly the white Gosh. rhino, have horns which can get up to five feet long. With the full force of a charging behemoth behind it, this horn can easily one hit any player unfortunate enough to get caught at the other end. Game! Like, you mess around and get hit by that, bro. You, 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 you don't, you're not even gonna get paralyzed. You're just straight dead, bro. I don't think there's anything, there's not a lot of things on this planet that can survive that, other than myself, of course. I, I, I don't think there's nothing that could. That could withstand that type of hit. This length gives Rhino players a massive forward threat range. I'm that eating other that though. I'm eating it. Underestimate. Pause. Especially when factoring in the Rhino's surprisingly high speed stat. With a top speed of roughly 30 miles per hour, they often catch careless players off guard with how quickly that giant horn can get within spearing distance. Now, oftentimes, one of the main weaknesses of this sort of playstyle, i.e., the kind of build with a large, powerful skull mounted weapon, is that if an opponent is able to get inside of your optimal threat range, either by dodging your first attack and punishing the end lag, or by approaching from a difficult to defend hey, angle, you may have little left in terms of defenses and might just be out of options to fight off the attack. This is not the case with the Rhino, because the Rhino has the best defense stats of any build in his weight class. It has extremely thick skin, which is packed full of fibrous material, making Man, it highly defense resistant defense high like a Mega damage. Steelix. In addition to allowing rhinos to spar with each other without risking an instant game over, this also allows rhinos the ride to throw off crazy. from literally any predator build, from the crushing bite of a hyena to the razor blade-like swipe of a tiger's claws. Rhinos aren't completely invincible, they're not bulletproof, and can't tank hits forever, but they've got a lot more room for mistakes than most builds. What with the all that being said, the rhinoceros does have plenty of weaknesses, <laughs> the first of which is their extremely poor eyesight. Rhinos have eyes on the side of their head, which is meant to give them a wide field of view at the cost of binocular vision, aka the ability to judge the distance to another player or rhino object dick, in 3D though. space. However, a rhino's vision is so poor that it can only detect basic shapes past roughly 10 yards, meaning they cannot detect other players if they remain motionless. And what you get is a rhino which can see all of the movement around itself, but is unable to quickly gauge whether or not Man, that kind of represents though. a threat. And so you'll commonly see rhino mains getting stressed out and startled by the simplest of things. And also rhinos which attack anything that moves on sight. This of course is highly exploitable. That thing kind of going Any though. based build will have an easy time concealing its presence from rhino until it wants to make a move. But this vulnerability is also easily exploited by intelligence based builds such as the human or the elephant. By tactically using items <laughs> or team strategies, high intelligence builds can easily distract or kite a rhinoceros into doing exactly what they wanted. Whether it be to force a rhino to retreat from a fight that it could have won, so they're not really or bait the, the rhinoceros into a trap. This lack of ability to discern friend from foe means the rhino's potential allies may not be willing to allow a rhino to join their party. Since <laughs> the rhino may accidentally target a party member with an attack if it feels threatened. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Thankfully, there is one build which does make for a willing and effective team combo with the rhino. 
and that is the oxpecker. Oxpecker birds provide their allies with a low-grade parasite resistance buff, which is an important perk given how OP the tick build is in the current meta. But more importantly for the rhino, the oxpecker can essentially function as the ally's third eye watching their party members back and alerting them of any approaching enemies. They got a little support here. the oxpeckers are so small and agile, they're not really at risk of being attacked by an overly aggressive rhino. Now, although rhinos can dish out some of the highest damage in the entire game to anything unlucky enough to be caught in front of their giant horns, Another major weakness of theirs is their inability to threaten players approaching from behind them. Yeah, they get Most hit from the back. Builds, even those with yeah. equally impressive horns, make sure they spec into a powerful kick to ensure that they don't just automatically lose <laughs> to any aggressor that manages to get behind them. A rhino's legs are not tall enough nor fast enough to threaten a powerful kick. Yeah, so really, the only thing that could beat a, like, beat a rhino is like, if it's fast enough and, and, and strong enough and they get it from a blind side. So if I hit it from the back, and I got the, the strength of like 55 apes, gorillas. Yeah, that thing is gone. Now, head on. Yeah, I might mess around and get put on a t-shirt. And so when a rhino gets surrounded, its only option is to tank quite a few hits. Now, of course, their thick armor does Dang, immensely help in this hell. situation. But no armor in this game is completely impervious. And given enough time, a persistent predator can still wear deal down. damage, even to a heavily armored rhinoceros. This weakness is made worse by the fact that the rhino, like all mammals, has a weak point on its hindquarters called the perineum. Taking damage to this area can inflict a serious blood loss debuff, Ain't that which the can butthole? be enough to bring down even the rhino. Normally, it's the job of a player's teammates to guard their backside like this. But given the rhino's propensity for friendly fire, they can't always count on having allies that are willing to help. Unfortunately, as helpful as the ox birds are, they aren't likely to try and challenge a lion in the middle of an ambush. So there's definitely quite a few downsides that come with playing this powerhouse of a build. There's also some variation within the Rhino faction, allowing for players to optimize for their desired playstyle. If you just want to max out on your attack damage, you'll want to play as the White Rhino, which sports the most powerful horn and largest size. Yeah. If you care more about mobility and armor, you can opt for the Indian Rhino, which is smaller. Yeah, that's only got a hell of play. Better mobility both on land and in the water, and is also the more heavily armored of the they two. Look cool though. Next, let's talk about individual matchups. First, Big Cats. Rhinos have essentially nothing to fear from the Felid build. Sharp as their claws might be, they simply aren't powerful enough to penetrate a rhino's armor. Big cats kill with a strangling bite to the throat, and there's basically zero chance of this attack Sorry, strategy working skin. against a rhino, especially seeing as any attempt at this would put them right in range of the rhino's primary but I mean, if, if they wear them down, though. Rhinos are one of the few builds which actually can genuinely threaten serious damage against an elephant. Elephants don't have anywhere near as much armor as a rhino. So even a direct 1v1, the rhino's horn is likely mm. to out-damage the elephant's tusks it with uppercuts. if the rhino can manage to get within range. Unfortunately, the elephant has two major advantages over the rhino. The first is its range. The elephant's tusks outrange the rhino's horn, so even though the elephant's DPS is lower Getting than the rhino's, it. the elephant's tusks can push the rhino out of range and prevent it from being able to put its horn to work. The second advantage is its intelligence. Elephants are especially adept at exploiting the rhino's lower intelligence and poor eyesight. By throwing objects towards a rhino, elephants can easily induce the frightened status condition in a rhino, <laughs> causing the rhino to forfeit a fight it potentially could have stood a solid chance in GG, had it yeah. held its ground. To be fair, it's not the worst indictment to have a losing match. So the rhino is literally like the embodiment of like the the, the stereotypical jock. S uh, strong, quote unquote, but just stupid. Just the bronze. Like literally no type of brain at all, bro. Matchup against an elephant. Hardly anything has a favorable matchup against them. But it's unfortunate that if the rhino didn't. But if have you get caught with that horn, though, it actually would have a solid matchup against the elephant, so despite goodbye. the size difference. Next, the hippopotamus. Hippos and rhinos are very similar in terms of their base stats. They're very similar in size, roughly equal to their base with movement hippo. speed, and each can dish out incredible damage. Hippos the are hippo crazy. Has higher base HP, but significantly less armor. This is by far the most even matchup on this list, and a confrontation can easily go either way. The rhino's susceptibility to intimidation, 
does cause it to sometimes back <laughs> down from fights it probably could win, but there are also plenty of cases of overly aggressive hippos getting hard punished for approaching too carelessly. Yeah, them hippos be mad aggressive. As mentioned before, although the rhino does have excellent armor, the only predator that even realistically has like, a on the butthole, damage like, to them would be the hyena, which packs one of the strongest bite forces of anything a rhino could ever encounter, second only to the crocodile. It's still extremely rare for a pack of hyenas to bring down a rhino, but by persistently chipping away at the rhino's rear weak point, it can happen. Like, I know they had the, the second has strongest solid matchup spread, but despite all of their incredible advantages, still end up taking a lot more L's than they should <laughs> due to their toilet. heavily exploitable weaknesses. Although they're able to tank a lot of hits as an adult, their low intelligence stat allows enemy players to kite protective parents away from the low-level rhinos they were guarding, whether that be through distraction, intimidation, or team tactics. And with a respawn time of almost a year and a half, every defeat hits the rhino player base exceptionally hard. The Rhino build is quite powerful, but I actually think it's a bit over-invested in its combat stats at the cost of its own efficiency. This is likely because the Rhino build was originally meant for much colder climates, where larger size was also simply an efficient design choice to provide the player with a cold resistance buff. During the Ice Age, the ancient variants of the Rhino, such as the Woolly Rhinoceros, absolutely needed this extra bulk in order to fight off powerful threats like the short-faced bear and cave hyena. But with the largest threat to rhinos in the modern day being the tiger, too. rhinos don't really need this much physical force to be competitively viable. There also used to be a lot more variety to the rhinoceros player base. Paraceratherium was the largest terrestrial yeah, mammal ever thing. seen in the game, and essentially functioned as a mammalian sauropod. And yet for some reason, the tall grazer niche is dominated by the giraffe instead of a variant of the rhinoceros, even though a Paraceratherium could easily win a 1v1 against the giraffe. This may be a bit controversial, but taking into account their many weaknesses and seeing how out of place they are in the current meta compared to the Ice Age, I'm going to place the Rhinoceros into D tier. Low intelligence in particular leaves the Rhino helpless in the face of certain strategies. However, intelligence is something that can be leveled up with the right sort of training. Y'all, it would probably be in y'all best interest not to mess with a Rhino, me personally. I feel like I could walk up to a, a, a rhino and literally like Batista bomb the, the rhino and nothing's gonna happen to me. I'm literally gonna be perfectly fine. And even if it does try to attack me, I can just grab something off the ground, just throw it off to the side. He gonna, he gonna hit one of those because he ain't really the, the brightest crayon in, in the fish pile. But that's just me. Hopefully guys enjoy it. Um, I forgot the last time we looked at these. I, I like these videos. Like I like educational animal type of videos. These were busting. So hopefully you guys were busting and liking that video. Okay. Koi Max, second Koi. I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> I'm out.